Is it a war on the wealthy or good old-fashioned law and order? On Capitol Hill, lawmakers sparring with the head of the IRS over the agency's mission to make the rich pay their fair share of taxes. Hillary Vaughn has more from Capitol Hill. Tax season is here, and while most of us are preparing our returns, the head of the IRS is being grilled by skeptical lawmakers on Capitol Hill. At a Thursday hearing, Commissioner Daniel Werfel talked about how the agency is preparing to process millions of tax returns, admitting they need to do better with digital security and customer service. But most of the hearing was focused on the fair share debate, with Republicans criticizing a new multi-billion dollar effort to target high-income taxpayers. The IRS is spending its windfall of $80 billion and fantasy land claims about how much revenue the agency thinks it will generate from increased audits. And new IRS data appears to back that view, showing the top 1% of taxpayers paid a record high 45% of all federal taxes in 2021. But Werfel is pushing back, claiming the agency is only going after those who break the law. This should frustrate people. And we have so many honest Americans who pay their taxes on time. And these millionaires and billionaires are not. Ultimately, the new IRS effort to, quote, restore fairness to the tax system will likely continue. Democrats are expected to make it an issue in the 2024 congressional campaign, despite criticism from Republicans who say the IRS should be spending money on services, not more audits. The question of fairness in the tax system is at hand. We all have different opinions about it. I believe that you're there to oversee fairness. And Werfel is asking lawmakers for another $800 million to close what he calls the inequity gap on Capitol Hill. Hillary Vaughn, Fox Business.